Hey, welcome back to the channel. I recently purchased the 2023 BMW R1250 GS Adventure, and I am super stoked to get the panniers installed. First, however, I need to assemble all the lock assemblies, and if you bought the two side panniers in the top box like I did, that totals eight lock assemblies. The awesome part is that the lock assemblies, once assembled, will be matched to your BMW motorcycle key. The bad part is that the BMW included instructions suck, so this video is going to make this a simple task for you. So start by dumping out the items into your work area and separate the parts. The first lock assembly will take a few minutes to assemble, but each one after that will take less than 30 seconds to assemble if you follow the beginning instructions that I provide. First, get a pen in your instructions or another piece of scratch paper to write on. You will write this template on your piece of paper. The front will be the side where the key enters. During this process, it is important that you do not put a clip in the back slot on the bottom row, hence the reason you put an X in the last slot on your template. If you accidentally place a clip in the last slot on the bottom, while the lock assembly is outside the pannier, everything will look fine and your key will insert and extract just fine. However, as soon as you put the complete lock assembly into your pannier, you will not be able to get your key out. If this happens, I will show you how to rectify this issue at the end of the video, so stay calm and don't break your key trying to get it out. Now there are four different clips in the kit. Three of them have numbers and one does not and is open at the bottom. The one that is open at the bottom is the retaining clip. Set this aside someplace safe. There is only one in each kit, so do not lose it. The rest of the clips and springs have a spare in each kit. As a mechanic, this is the time you've been waiting for, where it is okay to have leftover parts and not worry about it. Now you are going to orientate the lock tumbler. The top has the slot furthest to the back. This is where the retaining clip will go, but this is the last step. In the second from the last slot, start by placing a spring in the small hole, and then insert his number two clip, and then insert your key. The clip orientation is such that this lip sits on the spring. Now if after the key is inserted the clip is flush then this is the correct clip. If the clip is sticking out of the bottom then change the clip to a number 1. If the number 2 clip is sticking out the top, change the clip to a number 3. Once you find the correct clip number that is flush with the assembly, write it down on your piece of paper in the correct spot. Then remove the key and the clip and move on to the next slot. Insert the spring in the number 2 clip and then insert the key. Again, if the clip sticks out the bottom, change to a number 1 clip, or if the clip sticks out the top, change to a number 3 clip, and then insert the key to confirm that the clip is flush. Write down the clip number on the piece of paper and proceed to the final slot on the top. You then do the same for the bottom slots. Same methodology applies to the clips. Start with the number 2. If the clip sticks out the bottom, change to a number 1, and if it sticks out the top, change to a number 3. Now pause the video until you have identified all your clip numbers. Once you've identified all three top and bottom clips, it's time to start installing all clips. Insert springs into the top three slots and insert the clip numbers you previously identified and then insert your key. All should be flush. If any of them stick out low or high, confirm you inserted the correct clip. Once they are all flush, turn the tumbler over and place your finger over the clips so that when you remove the key, the clips and springs do not all fall out. Remove the key and proceed to insert the spring and clips into the front three slots of the bottom row. Again, insert your key and confirm all clips are flush. Assuming that they're all flush with the key remaining inserted in the tumbler, insert a spring in the back slot on the top row and insert the retaining clip. You are now ready to insert the assembled lock assembly into the pannier. You simply insert and rotate the lock assembly. The retainer clip will secure it in place. The lock assembly should insert into the pannier easily without much if any force. If it is not wanting to go in, make sure that you are aligning the retainer clip with the opening in the pannier. Assuming your key comes out of the lock, congrats you did not put a clip in the last slot on the bottom row and you're all set. One down, several more to go. The rest however go by like a breeze. You have the combination of clips required to set up each lock assembly. Now if you unfortunately inserted a clip in the back of the bottom row and you proceeded to insert the lock assembly, your key will not come out of the lock assembly. You will need either a hooked pick or something that is curved to push the retainer clip in 
and to get the lock assembly back out so you can remove the last clip in the bottom row. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up to support the channel.